Preach the Word Ministries now presents another live series weekly with evangelist Aaron McClure. Today, friends, I want to talk to you about learning to do it yourself. First of all, let me make clear that, number one, this is not to say that we don't need God because we do. We've come to learn through the Word that it is only in Him that we live and move and have our being. So we need Him. Our righteousness in God is only through Christ Jesus. That's the only way there's any good that comes from us. Number two, this is not to say that we don't need some people sometimes. I've learned that everybody needs somebody sometimes. But when we talk about learning to do it yourself, it, it brings us to a place of growth in the Lord to where we don't constantly need something extra or someone extra to help carry us. This is about learning that Christianity in your life is a cure, not a crutch. It's about growing out of a place of immaturity and maturing in the grace of God. Peter tells us in 2 Peter 3 and 18, he says, Grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the context of 2 Peter 3 in these scriptures, he's talking about being ready for the coming of the day of the Lord, for the rapture. And I believe there are a lot of people who are manipulated to the point to where they're up and down and they're in and out. They've not grown to the place to where they're constantly ready, not only for the rapture of the church, but ready for everyday life, things that happen, things that we go through. The Bible said in Isaiah 63, God said He's trodden the winepress and He did it alone. There are some things that we're going to have to go through, and we'll have to go through them alone. And Peter was talking about being ready for the coming of the Lord. We realize that if we're constantly up one minute and down the next, or in one minute and out the next, chances are when Jesus comes back, we're going to be down and out. How do we learn to do it ourselves? Did you know that you have your own DIY handbook? It's called the Bible, the written, holy, inspired Word of God. In this DIY handbook, this do-it-yourself handbook, you find that there are several people who God taught them to do it themselves. When nobody else was around, when they had nothing else, it was just them and God, and they stood the test. They conquered uh, innumerable odds because God stood with them as He taught them to do it themselves. David was one of these men. In 1 Samuel 30, we find that David encouraged himself. Even when everyone else was against him, his own friends turned on him, ready to kill him. The Bible says he encouraged himself. In other words, he strengthened himself. He cured himself. He helped himself. He repaired or fortified himself. Sometimes we'll need people to help us. But I believe God would bring us to a place to where when we don't have anybody else, through Him, we can help ourselves. Not only did David encourage himself, but we find that Nehemiah in 5 and 6 and 7 consulted himself. That means he took counsel with himself. Sometimes it's good when you get in a situation where you're frustrated to just get alone by yourself and just vent to yourself. That's what Nehemiah did. He was upset that things were going wrong with the people of God. People were using the other folks. And Nehemiah just gets alone and he just lets himself have it. But the good news was after he consulted himself, he came out of that place and the Bible says that his task, finishing the wall, rebuilding the wall of the city was completed in 52 days. So he consulted himself. You get over in the New Testament, you find that Jesus unwrapped himself. You find this in John 19 and 20. As he would come out of that grave, after he had been wrapped in all the grave clothes, he would come out. As they looked into the tomb, they see that those grave clothes have been unwrapped. There was nobody there to do it for him. He did it himself. And this is the way we are because I believe the devil would throw things at us that would tempt us to uh, give in to despair and death and depression. But we've got to wrap all that stuff off. We've got to do it ourselves. So even when there's nobody else or no thing we can trust God to help us get all that stuff, everything that's trying to weigh us down, get it off of us. Lazarus needed someone to unwrap him. But when you've got the anointing of Jesus, you can unwrap yourself. And this same anointing uh, continues throughout the New Testament. 
Paul, the Bible said in Acts 26 and 2, that he thought himself happy. That means, I know he was talking about to consider himself happy, but it literally means that he led himself to happiness or he commanded himself to be happy. Nobody had control of his happiness but him. He got up and he said he, he, he was making a choice to command himself to be happy. Nobody is to have that kind of control over you except the Lord Jesus, and he promises that happiness. So I'm going to encourage you today to learn to do it yourself. I love friends, I love family, I love having people around, but sometimes some things we just have to go through alone. But know this, God said He'd never leave you or forsake you, and you can learn to do it yourself. Trust His Word. If you enjoyed today's video, we invite you to comment, rate, and subscribe for instant updates on new editions of the Life Series Weekly Video Devotion. Check out our Facebook page, Preach the Word Ministries. Just click on the link in the description below. It'll take you right there. You can also follow Aaron M. McClure on Twitter. Blessings to you, friends, from Preach the Word Ministries.